Yo, what is going on guys? Today I'll be showing you how to reset a forgotten password on Kali Linux, PowerOS and other Debian type Linuxes. Here I have two examples, Kali and PowerOS. As you, as you can see they're in the login screens. Without further ado, let's get started. So let's say it's been a long time since you've touched Linux or you just have a ton of passwords and you can't remember which one is which. To do this, we just need to get a shell, a terminal, and if you don't know how to change a password on Linux, you just type in passwd, which will, and hit enter, which will uh, change the password for the current user on the terminal. Or you can type in passwd space, and put in a username that is installed on Linux, on the computer, and it will change the password for that user. So here, uh, we want to change the password for the username Kali, I'm not sure if it's Kali, let me just check. Because I just changed the username got you recently here. Okay, so the the username is what would be here. If you open our terminal, this part is our username and this is our our PC name. So now it in the hood is the username. So let's log out. And let's just imagine we forgot our password. To do this, we need to get a shell, but we can't get one here. So we need to restart. Restart the PC. Or the Linux machine. And as it's booting, here, on the grub menu, you want to click E. So I'll just show you that again. So I'm going to let it load. And when it's uh, logging in, I'll show you. Okay, so we're back in the login, sc login screen. Restart. I'll take my time here and show you. So it's restarting. This is BIOS. Now we hit in the grub menu. Click E. You, you normally get 5 seconds till it boots into its uh, system. So now when you're in this grub menu here, um, you're edit editing the boot menu. So you have to go to using your arrow keys, click the down arrow key till you're in the line where it says Linux. And click the left. Oh, sorry go down one more till you in the echo line and click left. So as you can see our we are in the Linux line and what we have to type in is single init equals forward slash bin forward slash bash and we do control X to exit. We're going to let it boot and instead of being introduced to a graphical display, a log graphical login will be in a terminal and will be logged in as root already. So I will skip it to the part where we're in the terminal. Okay, so we should be in a screen like this here. Y you can see we're in the we're logged in as root. So now what you want to do is pass WD and we don't want to change the username for root, we want to change the username for you know, in the hood. But let's say you don't know the username, you're not sure what the username is. So what you can do is type in cat cat slash etc slash pass slash pass wd. If you hit enter, the last line you can see here, it says do it in the hood, colon x, colon hundred. So the first line there, the first word is your username. So you have to change the password for the username, just type in passwd space and the username. Just like that. Just hit enter. Put in your new password. I'm going to put um, 4321. And you have to retype it 4321. As you can see here, authentication token manipulation error, password unchanged. That's because uh, yeah, okay, if you type in mount, you can see we are on the drive as read only, so we can't write anything, we can only read on read files. So to do this we want to type in mount dash rw space dash o remount slash the root disk. Now once that's done, uh, redo the command. You can click the up arrow key to go to previous commands. So we want to change the password for that username. Password is going to be 4321. Retype it. 
password is updated successfully. Now to exit, we want to type in sync. Enter. And type in unmount forward slash. Type in enter. Oh, sorry. U, U mount. U mount forward slash. And now we just want to power off. Sorry. Power off. Now that's powered off, we can power it back on, and hopefully we'd be introduced. So here's our grub menu. We can just click enter instead of waiting the five seconds. You have five seconds to click E if you want to edit. So hopefully we get introduced to a, a GUI menu, a GUI login, and I'll skip to the part where we're logged in there. Okay, so now we're in the GUI login menu. Our username is this. And our password was 4321. And hopefully it worked for you guys. And if it did, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Comment down below if you have any errors. And before I end the video, I'm going to show you the second example on PowerOS. So as you can see here, uh, we're going to log in as doing it in the hood. Okay. Uh, we don't. I actually forgot the password here. actually forgot the password so quit you want to we cannot you can do one of these okay I'm just going to restart uh, here's the grub menu we have five seconds again click E and if you scroll down till we see Linux okay the Linux line is here we go down one more click the left arrow okay and now we click space type in single init equals forward slash bin forward slash bash and we control x on windows ok and now we should be introduced to the root login screen so you can see here if you do pass wt actually I, I don't know the username ok so our username is down so it wasn't down in the room it was down so you want to type in pass wt New password, I'm going to put it 4321. 4321. Again, you can see the manipulation error. So you want to type in, so if you, just to check, you can type in mount. And you can see on the last line it says RO in brackets and then some other junk. But RO means read only. So to do this, you have to type in mount dash RW space dash O uh, space dash remount forward slash hit enter. Just the same command before. New password is going to be 4321. And we type it again. Successful type in sync. U mount forward slash power off and dash f. And then power back on. And hopefully we log in properly. So I'm just going to click enter instead of waiting 5 seconds. We should be logged in. We should be presented with a GUI menu, not terminal. Okay, there we go. So a GUI menu. Let's wait till we get the login screen. And there. So we just type in four three two one, and we should be in just like that. Let the load. Come on. Fingers crossed. And there you go. So if this was really helpful for you guys, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and also comment if you have any problems, share with your friends if you have the similar problems, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.